everybody and welcome back to another Unity 5 tutorial. This is Sorcerer Studios and in this video we will be learning how to apply physics materials to objects in Unity. Now, in our last tutorial we learned how to spawn our friend, or how to spawn our ball, one friend every single second. But, as you can see currently, these balls do not bounce when they hit the ground. And that is just one component of the physics that we will be applying to our object. So, be sure to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And let's begin. So, let's make a new platform. And let's just duplicate this and move it over here somewhere. And let's move our ball over there too. And let's make this platform purple so that we know that it's different from the other platform. Okay, things are looking good now. So, first what we want to do is we want to create another sphere. And let's give the sphere a new material. So now that we have our ball, we are going to add physics to it. Put this in materials. If we can. Why can't we put... Oh, it's the same, same name. Green 2. There we go. Okay. So let's add a physics component to it. So, we're, so in project, we're going to hit create and then physics material. There we go. And we'll just call this physics. Yeah. Okay. So let's create a new folder, call it physics and put our physics. Yeah. Into physics. And we are going to drag and drop it onto our sphere and we will call this physics spear sphere okay now let's give this a rigid body because it won't work without a rigid body be sure to check use gravity there we go we have that and let's look at our physics so we have our dynamic friction our static friction bounciness bounciness friction combined and bounce combined basically dynamic friction is its friction when it is rolling so when it is rolling across this platform what amount of friction will it have? And static friction is basically how much friction it is when it's not moving. So that can be applied to how much that it would take this ball to start moving due to friction. So let's bring this friction up to 1. Actually, let's bring this friction to 10. 10 and 10, just to show you what friction does. Okay, so let's figure out what would happen if we were to try to get this ball to roll. If I can if I can collide into it. See, it's taking a lot for this ball to roll because there is a lot of friction applied to it. So if we were to drag the friction down whoops, in physics yeah, let's bring the friction down to zero. And zero pretty much means that it will just keep rolling infinitely. It will not stop rolling. So if we don't fall off the edge. Okay, let's try this again. So if we were to hit this ball, it's not going to stop rolling. It's rolling slowly, but it won't stop. Okay, so let's bring this back to point six where it was before. Now bouncing this is a pretty cool feature and it's very self-explanatory it's bounciness so let's bring the bounciness to one and see what happens okay so as you can see the ball is bouncy and that's what we want bounciness can't go beyond one because if it goes beyond one then it might bounce higher than its initial height and we don't want that last thing is friction combine and bounce combine so on the unity documentation for friction combine it says how the friction of two colliding objects is combined so as you can see up here there's average and average there's average where the two friction values are average there's minimum where the smallest of the two values of you are used maximum where the largest of the two values is used and multiply where the friction values are multiplied with each other. And in bounce combine, pretty much that's the same exact thing for average, minimum, maximum, and multiply. Okay, so I hope that you liked this tutorial and I hope that you learned a lot. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.